Yes, the Democrats have pushed a subsidy bill on drug prices, but that doesn't cover the fact that inflation is about to come kick your head in. And it, once again, it's just also reaching into the general fund, putting it over here. We're going to borrow the money with them, going to find some way to tax it from you or tax it for my kids. And you know the world has changed. And let's see if I can actually find some of these to make it a little easier. But when you start to realize, when even the left-wing talking head Democrat apologists who hold economics degrees are basically standing up and talking about the misery the Democrat policies have brought to this country. So let's see, we had Jason Furman. How many of you have ever seen Jason Furman say a single nice thing about a Republican? Of course not. He basically makes his living berating those of us on the right and basically defending Democrat policies. When the math has gotten so ugly, he can no longer defend what Democrats have done to people in this country. The medium CPI, which is, excludes all the large changes in either direction and is a better predictor by labor markets slack. Now, this is important trying to get here. He, Jason Furman is basically trying to help you understand that when you're busting through a 9.5% annual rate in August, the single highest monthly print in the data sets, which started in 1983. I don't mean this to be disjointed. I, I, I want it to sort of become crisp. When the core of inflation is functionally higher than any time it's been published, since 1983, how old were you in 1983? Do you remember the level of misery? Congratulations. This is what the policies around this place did. And if you get a clown that's trying to say, oh, it's Ukraine, it's this and that. No, it's not. This stuff was in the futures market long before. Do you remember a year ago, September, when the futures markets and energies and those things were blowing off the charts? That was telling you this was coming. But that would require some economic literacy.